Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Google Mars 3D territories to Blender to make it become a terrain. You can see now this is in my Blender. If I add just add a random a random light, like for example the point light here, then I move it up and try to render with shading. You can see this is really a a Mars territory. You can see. Let's say if I magnify the power to become 100 watts. This is really a, ter a territory, a terrain from Mars. And now you can see this is the Google Mars as well. And if you zoom in, it is totally in 3D and actually you can grab it into the blender. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to do all this. Right, so now I'm going to close everything and I don't save it. I close this as well and I will show you from beginning. The first step, what you are going to do is just go to the video descriptions, go and download the Google 3D, the Google Mars 3D Grabber. And once you download it, it is a zip folder named as Google Map 3D Grabber as well. Actually, they are the same. You download this as a zip and you extract it into the folder. You will get the Blender 3.0 provided by me. It already have the plugin pre-installed in Blender 3.0. And then it have a render.1.13. And you have to install the Google Chrome. Make sure you install the Google Chrome browser in your computer. And also install the render doc in your computer. And then, this is the Google Chrome render doc shortcuts. You need to use this. So first step, all right, now I'm going to show you step by step. The first step, start the render doc. If you already install it in your computer. Next, click here, file, inject into process. At this part here, you type Chrome. Then refresh it. Then start start the Google Chrome by using the Google Chrome render dot shortcut. Once you open it, it will have a conversation like this and totally blank. You do not click OK. You back to here, refresh it. Then you should be able to see the Google Chrome, the Google Chrome's GPU. Click and inject. Next, back to here, click OK. Then once you enter the Google Chrome browser, you will see some text set here with black background. That means you're already successful. Next up, from the Google, from my video description, enter the Google Map 3D first. This one, www.google.com slash maps. All right. Then enter here, control V, enter. Now this is the Google Map. In order to access and view the Google Mars, you have to make sure you click, you move your mouse cursor to layer and click more. Make sure you activate the globe view. Then use your mouse to scroll down. But before that, close this first, activate the layer and keep on scroll down until you see the space. Then the Mars is set here. Right now you can see this is a 3D Mars. If you zoom in, the territory also in in 3D. Say this one. Right. You can find some of the very clear Mars territory. For example, this one. Everything in 3D. So next step. Of course you can click 3D to have a view, but the 2D is okay. Next, because in this tutorial, we are going to grab it into Blender 3.4. And next up, you have to, to come to your render doc again. The capture after delay, you put five seconds, then click capture after delay, back to your Google Chrome browser immediately. And you have to move and drag the map like this by using your mouse, your, your, your mouse left click. Then you can see capture frame. That means it already captured back to your Google Chrome. 
it already successfully capture. Right click save. And as demo, I'm going to save it on my desktop. Save it as RDC file. I will create a new folder. I name this as Mars01. Right, the file name, I put Mars01. Let's click save. At this moment, I can minimize everything. Now, Mars01, it is an RDC file. Then, the next step, open the Blender 3.0 that provided by me in the Google Map 3D Grabble. Double click in, open the Blender. This is not the latest version of the Blender, so later, later I'm going to show you how to import it into Blender 3.4, but not now. You need to have this old version of the Blender with the Google Maps importer. First step, just delete three of this. Select and press delete button. Then click edit preferences. Under the add-on, search for map. And you have to make sure the maps model importer is already activated. Take it, then close. Then click file, import. You should be able to see the Google map capture, the RDC file. Choose this, import the RDC file that put on your desktop just now is Mars01 as my demo. The RDC file is here, double click. At this moment, it is going to open by using the Blender. Now, you can see it already imported into the Blender. It is really the Mars territory. I click here, then it can activate the, the texture. If I add a, if I add a, a point light like this, then I move it up that I, I use the shading. If the light, I put it like about 400 like this. You can see this is really a Mars territory. How can you know? Because it is really in 3D, you can see the shadow when I move the light. It is the Mars 3D territory. If I click here, you can see all the texture. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import them into Blender 3.4. It is really easy. Install the Blender 3.4 in your computer. Do not close the Blender 3.0. Just open the Blender 3.4. It's already in my computer. I install it. So from from the from the over from the older version here, I copy. Before I copy, I have to select everything. Wait, I delete the point light. Press the delete. Then I select all. It have a lot of meshes. I just press Control J to combine all the mesh. Wait again. Control J. Control J. But for this time, fail to do this. Again, Control J. But fail to do this, you still can copy. Okay, just use Control C to copy object. And back to the Blender 3.4. Control V to paste it here. Everything will come into Blender 3.4 already. For this time, Control Z. Function is fail. Do one more time. All right. For this time, it already combined become just a single mesh and you can export it as FBX as well. So now we already successfully grab the Google Mars 3D into Blender 3.4, the latest version of the Blender, just by using the render dog, everything already in here. You can create your animations by using the Mars territory. It is really easy and awesome. The terrain is already here. Right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D animation and game developing. See you.